Hi everybody, this is Juliana and I have a project here for Addicted to Stamps and I'm going to share with you my first Halloween card ever and I'm really, really excited. So here is my card and I really, really love how this turned out. So um, this is the first time that I make a Halloween card and I had a lot, a lot of fun and I really love how it turned out. So, um, I used this really gorgeous stamp that you see here. This is actually a digital stamp by Addicted to Stamps. And it is a Halloween fairy. And she is just so, so super cute. So, um, what I did is I printed the image. And you can make it any size that you like. So, you can make it bigger or smaller, however you like. And I color her with my Prisma color pencils that I'm really excited about. I'm just now learning how to color with the Prisma color pencils. And I really, really love how it makes the image look very, very natural um, looking. So um, I color her over here. And for the pumpkins, what I did is after I colored them with my Prisma color pencils, I used some Lindy's Timkin over the pumpkins. So I used um, this one, which is the Magicals, and it's a really gorgeous, uh, like orange color. And this one is called the Hagsworth Orange. Love, love this. So I used this to color the, pan the pumpkins and make it look a little bit more darker. And then I added some of the stuckles and this this color over here really love this color and this one is let me just see here it's the platinum one and it's really really gorgeous so it gives it a little bit of glimmer and cheer onto the pumpkin so I added over here on the top and over here on the bottom and she's just there wearing her little cute little dress and then um, in the image, as you can see here, I put a little bit of gloss. So I used um, the Studio Multimedia Gloss. I really love this. So I added a coat on it, on top of it. But you can use any other type of gloss you have, like glossy accents or something like that too. So anything works out. And I made this card pretty dimensional, so as you can see right there below, um, I added some of those, um, um, what you call it, glue dots, dimensionals on the bottom. And I cut, I fussy cut this paper here of the tree from um, this paper collection by Echo Park. And it is the April Thickery Emporium paper. And I just love, love these sheets so much. So I used this first page here. And I just kind of cut around it. And then I used like a quarter of the moon here for this side of the card right here. So it's just really super cute. I also fussy cut some of the bats. Um, this is by K and Company, I believe, this bat in orange. And then over here, I added a piece of ribbon. It says, Happy Halloween. And you can find this ribbon at Michael's. And I really love it. I bought a couple of them. And this is one of them. And it says, Happy Halloween. And so you can just kind of cut it individually there to put it in your cards. So it's really, really nice ribbon. Um, so that's what I did here. I put Happy Halloween. And then I added some sequins in like an orange color. Just so it can match the um, the stickles a little bit more. So that's what the front looks like. And then here um, I added more of the ribbon. This is Happy Halloween. And then um, has the base. I use just some um, black, um, kind of like light chipboard cardstock. And um, over here I just added a paper from the collection. I stamped this image here. This is Happy Halloween. And this is a stamp by Tim Holtz. And I love this so much. And then I added some of the little bats. And this is also an image from Tim Holtz. So I left it pretty simple, you know, on the inside. I'm going to be making a couple of 
cards for my friends for Halloween. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that you like it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, please be sure to visit Addicted to Stamps. I'll put the link for this image below so you can just click in there and find it. And um, check out the other Halloween stamps. They have really, really nice stamps for, for the Halloween season or the fall season too. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.